Good morning, everybody. Early morning crypto talk. Bitcoin Brandon here. Some news of the day in the crypto land. Good morning, Jeff. Anthony Pinkston. Shauna. Carl. Benita. My little cousin, Kivan J. What's happening? Richard King. Gerald Gardner. Ellie. Another great day in the crypto world. All right. As a disclaimer, I am not a licensed legally financial advisor to be dispensing financial advice. I read the news, give my opinion and suggestions, and you do what you will with that information as an adult. I have five, uh, four rules I live by in the crypto space. Rule number one, you need education. Crypto education is, is more than important. It is everything. Number two, never invest with money you cannot afford to lose. Number three, always get your return on investment back as fast as possible. And number four, find a vehicle that can take you to have success in the crypto space. Where do you see yourself three months, six months, a year from now? Stay focused on it. Do not get distracted. You have limited resources. And that does, following these rules does not guarantee success. But it does at least limit your risk. And that's all you can ask for. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We've got some good news and at the end of this presentation i'm going to address one of our team members asked me a question about an article written on behind mlm about cryptogenics that mentions my name uh oh <laughs> what's going on they're making me famous that's what's what's going on so i'll address that at the end but now 
I'm going to cover a couple of um, couple of articles here to get us started with. Let's see. I'm going to start with. I've been sitting on this one because I, I and I've been saying this. There's always the debate over Bitcoin's future on whether or not it's going to be the world currency. And there's many different people out there, Michael Novogratz, billionaire, and a couple of others who do believe that ultimately Bitcoin is going to be that one world currency that everybody adopts. I don't agree with that. My own, this is my own personal belief here. I believe that Bitcoin ultimately will be seen as digital gold. Right now, gold is precious and valuable. We all can agree with that. But nobody's walking into a Starbucks and paying for their coffee with gold. You know, gold is more of a store of value. Uh, something to invest in to hold your money. And I think ultimately Bitcoin is going to be the cryptocurrency version of gold. I think that there will be another currency that will come out. I don't know which one it's going to be. Whether it's Bitcoin Cash... Ethereum, Ripple, Cardano, Verge, Stellar, Dash, Monero, or a coin that we haven't even heard of yet, that hasn't come out yet, that I think is going to ultimately be the world currency that's being used for day-to-day -day transactions. That it will be able to do what Bitcoin was intended to do, but 10 times better and faster. That's my own personal belief. And I could be wrong, but it seems Gary Cohn is thinking the same way. Let me let's read this article and let me post it in the chat box. I think, oh, Bitcoin's never going to go away. It's always going to have, it's going to be the granddaddy, the first of them all. But I don't think it's going to be used the way people think. Because I'm just looking at the behaviors and patterns right now. People aren't trying to spin Bitcoin. They're trying to hold on to it because they believe one day it's going to be worth $100,000 a coin. So let's read Gary Cohn. Former Goldman Sachs president who also acted as a chief advisor to President Trump, Gary Cohn believes that a global digital currency will come in the future. Cohn added that the coin will be more easily understood than Bitcoin. I don't know about that. Speaking to CNBC, he said that there would be a global digital currency at some point which will be understood by the world and it will be based on mining costs or electricity costs. Currently, Bitcoin mining relies on miners who solve hashed with their computers for the time for them to get block rewards through the proof of work protocol. Bitcoin mining uses a lot of electricity. And in October last year, it was estimated that it drew 56 million kilowatts of electricity per day was estimated to cost $6.7 million. So anybody that says Bitcoin is worthless, Bitcoin is, it costs money to make Bitcoin. About $1,500 a coin. That's what it costs to make one Bitcoin. It costs 13 cents to make a hundred dollar bill. Toilet paper costs more money than that. But here's the deal, guys. Cryptogenics is coming out with green mining. <laughs> green mining. That's right. Help to save the environment. Cut costs and electricity. And we're doing it the right way. But that's not what this call is about. We're having a cryptogenics mining call later tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. So we'll talk about that later. But he goes on to say, during the interview, Cohen clarified that he is not a big believer in Bitcoin but a believer in, of its underlying technology, blockchain technology. All these bankers, government officials, they love and they understand and recognize the technology. See, and this is a staggering statistic. Because I have people tell me all the time, well, Brandon, you know, I'm really not passionate about the Bitcoin stuff. I really don't, you know, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, you better start to feel it. If you want to not just survive, but if you want to thrive this century, you better become passionate about this. Not just for your sake, for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. Because here is what I understood in 2017 when I didn't really care about Bitcoin. I wasn't passionate about it. I didn't, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's some new technology some nerds are into. 
But when I started to do my research, I had my aha moment and a punch in the gut. And I realized two things. Number one, that cryptocurrency represents the greatest economic shift in wealth in the history of mankind for the most amount of people. This doesn't happen often. This has never happened before for the most amount of people. Oh yeah, there's been economic shifts in wealth in, in the history before, but only for the privileged, only for the few, only for the blue bloods, or those born and raised in the right society or the right family. We've got 2 billion unbanked people around the world right now who have no access to bank accounts, no access to credit or debit cards, which means they have no access to wealth. That now, all you need is access to the internet, and you now have access to change your family tree. That's one thing I found out. But I found out something else. And this is why guys like Gary Cohn, Trump's people, the bankers, Vladimir Putin, Here's what they all get that the average person doesn't even comprehend yet. See, you have to understand, more than 50% of people in the United States have been exposed to Bitcoin. Only 8% own some cryptocurrency. And only half a percent of the entire population even understands what the heck is going on. That's why you have a gang of people out there that have no passion about this because they don't get it. And once I got it, I can't sleep. I know what the billionaires are doing. Did you know I did an article the other day? They're hoarding $10 billion worth of Bitcoin in bunkers. The billionaires are. It's like that movie 2012. They're preparing for something while we're sitting on our asses trying to figure out, oh, I don't know if I want to get involved in Bitcoin. It might be a scam. But here's what I figured out. Based on my own research, I didn't need somebody to tell me this. But now that I've learned it, I understand what these billionaires, these Goldman Sachs people, what they know. That blockchain technology is the greatest invention to humankind since the internet. And the internet invention wasn't that long ago. Call it Internet 2.0. I don't have time to go into training as to why. Just know this, that it is going to disrupt every single industry on the planet. Every industry. Let me, let me, let me give you an industry that some of you may understand. <laughs> the sex industry, the porn industry, the strippers, the prostitutes, the oldest occupation in the world and when prostitutes and strippers are taking bitcoin as payment for their services you better believe it's real money but the blockchain technology is going to impact society in a way that agriculture did when it was first introduced to mankind this is what I'm passionate about. Why? Because I know that even though I have a son that's in college right now, they're not preparing him for the new world. He's not getting prepared for the blockchain world. And I'm getting way off topic on this, but I'm doing so because I want to share a point. Even though half a percent of Americans don't get it, the half a percent who do are preparing for the future. They're the billionaires. They're the millionaires. They're the guys out there that's talking bad about crypto, but they love the blockchain. See, cryptocurrency empowers you. Whoever's controlling the blockchain technology and, invent and, and bringing it to industries benefits them. And you don't have a say-so in what happens. All right, let me get off my soapbox and get back to this article. I got off on a side tangent there. Sorry, I got passionate. I got excited. <laughs> what does the rest of this article have to say from Gary? During the interview, 
Like I said, Cohn clarified that he is not a believer in Bitcoin, but a believer of its underlying technology, blockchain technology. He added that the future coin could also use the blockchain technology. The future coin will be much more easily understood how it's created, how it circulates, and how people can use it. When Cohen was asked about the reports that Goldman Sachs will start offering Bitcoin contracts with the intention of opening a Bitcoin trading desk, the bank's former president said Goldman Sachs should do what they know is in the best interests of their shareholders. He stated that he did not have any shares with the banking giant. Gary Cohn said he is currently considered running a regulated bank in the digitized world following his departure from the Trump administration, according to Khan. We are talking about the top. Ladies and gentlemen, the top of the top, they know stuff you don't. What are they preparing for? Follow the money. He says, I have an idea for a company. The idea is an interesting concept playing with the knowledge I have from the banking sector. Wall Street best brain seems to be moving very fast. Let me repeat this. Wall Street's best brains seems to be moving very fast into the crypto world and you're still sitting there thinking is a is a scam this is after another former goldman sachs executive mike novogratz founded his own crypto merchant bank galaxy digital which recently hired another forming goldman sachs as its ceo or coo what the heck goldman sachs all of 2017 was bashing crypto do you remember that all of 2017, they all bashed it. Here we are in 2018, and all of their executives forming banks, forming Bitcoin trading on the stock market, forming investing opportunities for their investors and stockholders. <laughs> Never listen to what people say. Follow what they do. All right. That was sitting on my desk for a while. Let's go on to... The next article here. Here's another. This here's, here's another hypocrisy because I called this out. Do you remember when Facebook made an announcement that they are going to ban all cryptocurrency advertising, all Bitcoin advertising? And I said in a Facebook Live that I believe that Mark Zuckerberg is one just trying to screw the Winklevoss twins and number two is going to come out with his own deal so he wants to eliminate the competition I said that if you've been following me for a while you'll remember that so let's look at what Facebook is about to do Facebook may issue its own cryptocurrency really <laughs> all right social media giant facebook is exploring the benefits of releasing its own cryptocurrency financial news outlet cheddar report reported on friday today's friday so they ban the competition and then they're going to come out with their own crap since they already got two billion people it's easy for them to do citing anonymous sources familiar with the matter Senior reporter Alex Heath said that the company, whose $533 billion market cap is $140 billion larger than the current cryptocurrency market cap. Let me say that again. Facebook's market cap is $533 billion. Cryptocurrency's entire market cap is $140 billion less. So they're holding serious, high-level discussions about directing the focus of its blockchain research team toward releasing its own cryptocurrency. I'm not surprised. I called this out six months ago. He said... Sources say that Facebook is specifically interested in creating its own digital token, which would allow its more than 2 billion users to facilitate transactions without government-backed currency. Facebook is also looking at other ways that it could use this core blockchain technology that underpins these popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. If I were these comp other altcoins, 
I'd sue the hell out of Facebook right now. And I think some of them already are. I'd sue them. Everybody saw this coming. Well, I know I did. He added that the company is also evaluating how it could use blockchain technology to improve identity verification and secure its bank back-end infrastructure, perhaps even including how it manages customer data. All right, let's go back to September 2017. When I first started doing crypto talks, I said that because I was excited, I had just started learning this stuff, that blockchain technology, whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you even know it exists or not, is irrelevant. You will be using it. And we've got 2 billion people on Facebook. Everybody has a Facebook account. And now Facebook is saying they're in instituting blockchain technology so whether you liked it or not guess what all of your future stuff on facebook will be moved through blockchain technology do you want to be ahead of this take advantage of it become financially independent or do you want it just dropped on your head and you have no choice but to use it and you're only using what they tell you to use that's your options there is no option c there's either a or B. Remember that, Benita? <laughs> it's happening. Brandon, why are you so passionate about it? Because this is our life. If you can't get passionate about life, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He added, that the company is also evaluating how it can use blockchain technology to improve identity verification. Oh, yeah, I already said that. As CCN reported, Facebook announced last week that it had created a new team dedicated to researching blockchain technology. Really? Really, Facebook? That team is led by Facebook executive David Marcus, who is also a sitting member of the Coinbase Board of Directors. What? I'm what well, I'm looking at right now. Massive market manipulation on the highest levels. The same entities that was bashing and screaming foul about Bitcoin and crypto are now leading the way for its charge. Marcus, who formerly served as president of PayPal, is an outspoken advocate for cryptocurrencies and his experience at the digital payments firm makes him an ideal choice to oversee Facebook's potential foray into this space. I predict you're going to hear the Winklevoss twins say something about this. I right, just have a prediction. The venture would likely see Facebook make strategic acquisitions in the cryptocurrency industry as it seeks to build out its own blockchain infrastructure. Now, when you are in control, whether you're the government, the bank, or whatever institution that has a monopoly, and something new comes out to challenge your authority, there's three things that you do. The first thing you do is you criminalize it. All you talk about is illegal activity being used with this new technology. The government did it. The banks do it. Facebook did it. They said, beware of all these crypto scams out there. They're all illegal. People are using it for drugs. And when that doesn't work, you move on to stage two. And stage two is ban it. What did China do? July 2017, kicked out all the exchanges, banned cryptocurrency. India, banning Bitcoin is illegal in India. What does the SEC, the FTC do? Oh, well, all ICOs is illegal. Let's ban it. What did Facebook and Google do and Twitter do? We're banning all blockchain, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency advertising. We're banning it. And then you move to phase three. Phase three is the Ronald Reagan approach. Phase one and phase two don't work. Co-opt it, regulate it, and tax it to death. Meaning, take it over so that we're still in control. If that's what the people want, fine, we'll give it to them, only we're still controlling it. What is Facebook doing after they just banned all 
crypto advertisements. You can't do it right now. Try to go try to do a crypto advertisement on Facebook right now. See what happens. So while they're banning it all, what are they doing? They're co-opting it. They're going to create their own blockchain. They're going to create their own digital coin. Oh, they don't want you using Bitcoin. They don't want you using Ethereum. They're going to want you to use the Facebook coin, a.k.a. the Fed coin when it comes out. This is why crypto education is so important. Without education, I would not have been able to spot or see any of these things. I would not be able to read in between the lines. I will not be able to project what's going to happen in the future so I can make moves today to be prepared for it. Lack of education, lack of knowledge is going to be the difference between what happens to you and your family over the next 50 years. Based on the choices you make between now and the next five years, because that's the window. After the next five years, that window closes and the choice will be removed from you. Sorry to say it. That's why I'm passionate. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Uh, it says, discussions are still preliminary and if Facebook does decide to issue its own cryptocurrency, it will likely be years away. Facebook would not be the only social media platform to launch its own cryptocurrency. Telegram says that it has raised $1.7 billion through an initial ICO to launch a third-generation blockchain called the Telegram Open Network, while chat app Kick is creating a blockchain token called Ken. Facebook, he said, does not currently plan to hold an ICO. Oh, of course not. They don't need to hold no ICO. They don't want you to have ownership of their token. They've got plenty of money. Both because a company has billions of dollars on its balance sheet and because selling the token could have negative repercussions on the firm's already battered reputation. Instead, the firm may airdrop the coins to its users or reward it to them in some other manner. Heck yeah. They're going to say, oh, we're going to have special contests and prizes. You know, you sign up with a Facebook account, we're going to gift you a certain amount of tokens. So guess what? You get to own shares of, of Facebook stock now. Watch. It's all BS, but it's going to happen. What am I all so hyped up for today? <laughs> I recognize that. I'm all hyped up. All right, let's see. Uh, what article I want to click on next? Bitcoin wallet to come pre-installed. I'll do that tonight. Bitcoin price could reach 64000 I'll save that one. Uh, all right, this will be the last one I cover. Cryptocurrency market sees $50 billion loss. Bitcoin price and tokens down significantly. Yeah, this just happened in the last 12 hours or so. Bitcoin just, uh, the whole crypto market just had a drop. Hit a sell wall. So let me post this in the chat box. And then I got to cover an article that was written that mentions me. All right, cryptocurrency market sees $50 billion loss, Bitcoin price and tokens down significantly. The cryptocurrency market has declined by more than $50 billion over the past 24 hours as the Bitcoin price declined by more than 8% and other major cryptocurrencies along with tokens experienced an intensified movement on the downside. Bitcoin price at $8,500. Over the past 24 hours, the Bitcoin price has dropped by more than 8%, mainly due to two major factors. Police raid into the headquarters of major South Korean exchange up bit and the sell off of 8,000 Bitcoin by the Mt. Gox trustee. As CCN reported, the Seoul police, along with the Korean Financial Intelligence Unit and Financial Services Commission, have initiated an investigation into South Korea's biggest cryptocurrency exchange up bit, which alleges which allegations of fraud and illicit movement of client funds to the accounts of the exchange's executives. The local police has yet to release its final report on the case and is expected to confirm its findings on Monday next week. We have secured hard disks and accounting books through confiscation, 
An analysis is expected to take days, the authorities said, adding that the final report on the upbit case will be released next week, said local financial authorities. The sell-off of cryptocurrencies by South Korean traders on upbit along with the possible sell of 8,000 bitcoins by the Mt. Gox trustee led bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market to fall. The Mt. Gox trustee previously stated that it is not in its plans to sell off its 200,000 Bitcoin holdings until late September. But it moved more than 8,000 Bitcoins to external wallets, triggering a domino effect across major cryptocurrency exchanges. The entire market has fallen on May 11th without any exception. Oh well, yeah, there is an exception, Tether. And if you've gone through crypto education, you would understand why Tether seems to remain steady or go on the green when the entire market goes red. So it says even tokens such as Icon, Ontology, EOS, Omis Go, and Zilika, which have recorded massive gains against both Bitcoin and the US dollar over the past two weeks, have recorded large losses in the range of 5 to 20%. Git, Gifto, Storm, Dent, Status, and other tokens have re which recorded 30 to 50% gains over the past month fell by more than 20%. Ran Nooner, the producer of CNBC's crypto trader who has offered extensive coverage of the South Korean cryptocurrency market this week, stated that local investors believe traders on Upbit sold their cryptocurrencies on the platform with the intention of moving them to other platforms or cryptocurrency exchanges. As such, investors expect the market to rebound soon, which means now's the time to buy. Don't listen to the media. Oh, it's dropped. You better sell. No, no, no. You buy low, you sell high. In Korea, this selling is coming from people taking their funds out of Upbit as they are concerned. These people are crypto investors and won't leave crypto. They will go to other exchanges and buy there. Expect a huge bounce soon. As the market did in previous Mt. Gox sell-offs, the cryptocurrency market is expected to rebound swiftly, especially if police reports that are expected to be released next week show that Upbit did not engage in any suspicious or criminal activity. Interesting. All right, on to other news. I got to watch what I say about this because our lawyers have already advised us to ignore, leave it alone, and not respond on the website behind MLM. If you know that website, they are not friendly at all. And they think any company involved in the network marketing space or MLM space is a scam. Every single one. That should not be surprising. However, they went beyond that part and they called out cryptogenics. Now, the funny thing is we haven't even launched yet. <laughs> we're still in pre-launch but we have made a name for ourselves since we now have members in over 80 countries we're launching in over 36 different languages and we're just now into our second month of pre-launch so yeah word is starting to get around and as i stated on a video that i freakingly deleted i gotta re-record it Cryptogenics is the safest business in the crypto space to be a part of. Why? Because we don't handle or manage your money. You're not giving us your Bitcoin for us to invest with and give you promises of return. Like all the other companies in 2017 that got cease and desist orders against them. In fact, just two days ago, two more companies got a cease and desist order in the state of Texas cloud mining for mining one mining company bt crush and then the other for some form of crypto investing where they were seen as the sell of securities and they weren't licensed to do so promising you returns guaranteeing you returns all the, doing income claims all right when you read that article on mlm you know what they behind mlm you know what they are they are charging us with they say that we are guaranteeing returns, that we have a trading bot, and that we are giving you passive income. That is false. 
We have not launched a trading bot. We do not guarantee any income. We do not make income claims. We do not say we're going to give you passive income. All we're giving you is cryptocurrency education. And we're coming out with a mining system where you purchase the rig and you own it yourself. And Cryptogenics doesn't even see your money. I am named in the article because it went way back into the early NDA days where I was the host of calls where we did meet the founders. See, here's another thing they tried to say that we're not transparent, that the website didn't have who the owners are. We're in pre-launch. The website's not complete. Our training doesn't even have the, the tests after each video just yet. <laughs> but that was a criticism. So I was named because I hosted calls where we wanted to be 100% transparent. I interviewed the owners of the company. They're not in Dubai. They're not in Belize. They're not in some Taiwan or some other country you've never heard of before. They're not hiding. You know exactly who they are. They're in America. Our company is registered in America. Our mining rigs will be housed in Utah. Everything is 100% open and transparent. We have two different law firms representing us. We have Troy Dooley on our compliance team. And everything that we release has to be okayed through the attorneys first. Otherwise, we can't talk about it. <laughs> so, since people ask me, Brandon, I get it all the time. Uh, can you tell me, uh, you, is this article, it's got your name and it says that cryptogenics is a fraud and a scam. Really? Just what about that article is actually true? And the only thing that in the article that is true is the, the compensation plan that has been approved from our compliance and legal team. <laughs> ML behind MLM just doesn't like network marketing companies, period. Yeah, or it could have been worse. You know, it was very vague, old information of concepts and ideas that we talked about early on that we have not implemented. The other thing it, it, it talks about is co-owner Stephen McCullough and his time with Skybiz, company he was a co-owner of. I actually did an interview where he went over his entire time. He's not hiding from it. In fact, I will paste, uh, paste that interview in the chat box. Nobody is hiding or being deceptive or trying to scam. So when people say, what is the biggest risk of cryptogenics? What separates you from all the other companies? I lost a lot of money in these other companies and I'm afraid I'm going to lose my money in cryptogenics. Really? The cost of cryptogenics is $300. What's my rule number three? If you put money in anything, get your money back as fast as possible. So while you're learning, we do have an affiliate program. If you share it with three people, you just made $300. You made your money back. You eliminated your risk. You have nothing to lose. It's crypto education. Now in the future, we will have extra products like we're just launching with mining, green mining. The more and more I'm learning about this, the more and more excited I am getting. Meaning, even though we'll have the ability to mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin gold, and Bitcoin cash, I will be mining the green tokens. And you will learn why in the next couple coming weeks. I plan to become wealthy off of that alone. So I'm very excited about that. And CryptoGenius will have other products in the future in the crypto space. But we are the safest business in the crypto space to be a part of. We are your gateway to the rest of cryptocurrency because we're going to give you the knowledge that is desperately needed so that you can navigate this space. You can tell what's a good and a bad ICO. 
You can tell what's a good or a bad investment. You can tell a scam from a non-scam. I was at the Blockchain Expo in London. The freaking Blockchain Expo and 50% of the room had no clear understanding what the blockchain actually was outside of their own development. You start asking them questions at the booth, you get them off script and they look at you like they're deer caught in headlights. They don't know what you're talking about. Education with only half a percent of the United States that understands this is desperately needed. It will save you from making $100,000 mistakes like friends of mine have made. So anybody that pulls up any behind MLM article about cryptogenics where my name is mentioned, you pull this video out and my reaction. And that's all I can say on that because the attorneys will do the rest. <laughs> but we have nothing to fear. But to get back to passion. Passion. It's not really passion. It's more survival. The world is changing. And it's changing very, very rapidly. And you have to decide what your place in the new world is going to be. I have made a decision that my place in the new world is going to be financially independent, not reliant on any bank or government where I have complete freedom. I don't have a nine to five job. I don't have anybody that I answer to. Complete independence and freedom. But my goal is to take that to the 10th level. Jim Rohn always said his ultimate financial goal was to build a financial wall so high that it was impenetrable for the next hundred years for his family. My goal is the same. And what vehicle are we going to use to make that happen? Well, we're going to use the fastest growing industry on the planet today. The greatest economic shift in wealth in the history of mankind for the most people. The greatest technology to be introduced since agriculture. Yeah, cryptocurrency. So if you want to thrive, this is something you must know. Even if you say to yourself, I'm still skeptical, I don't want to buy it, at least still learn it. Because it's unavoidable. All right, that's it for this morning. Uh, thank you guys for listening. We are having a special webinar or Zoom hangout tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, where we're going to be talking about our brand new mining rigs. We've already sold, I think, I don't know, 50 so far. Brand new mining rigs. And it's going to be on www. Let me type that in the chat box. www.kgxglobal.club Is it club? Let me double check because I know it's not dot .info or anything. Yeah, dot .club. kgxglobal.club tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. And then we'll have a, a read re uh, cap it. We'll do it again tomorrow for our European members at 3 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. All right. So thank you guys for joining us or joining me this morning. Early morning crypto talk. Hope you gain some value from this. Get excited about what's taking place. Get passionate about what's taking place. And then go to work because your family depends on it. God bless everybody. Bitcoin Brandon out. Bye-bye. Cryptogenic.